Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Servicing. So I had someone recently ask me a question about a couple of STLs. How do I bring them together, position them, and work with them? Now, as you can see, I brought one in and uh, I started doing a little bit of work. The work that I did on it is simply to locate a plane and a line. And the purpose behind this is to get um, some elements to position to. Now, this first model that I brought in is just out random in space. So the second model, would, my guess would be that it's out random in space as well. So what I'm going to do is, um, and the way I like to work with this is I want to create a new file. And within the context of this new file, I'm going to import that STL. Now, what this does for me is it allows me, there, there it is, way out in space, to use assembly constraints to move this around and align them, put them into position. So as you can see here, they have no relationship with each other whatsoever. So um, I located this pin. This is a very predominant pin or locator. And I, what I've basically done is best fit a circle um, and a plane and an axis on that form and uh, these scans are very rough so it's a bit tricky trying to get things to fit just right and I'll show you what I mean by a bit rough here in a minute so I'm gonna come up to this guy and as we look this shape here let me set my rotation reference is where it's going to meet and as you can see it's a fairly bumpy scan so the fidelity of the scan isn't all that great so it's going to make it very difficult to work with this uh, part okay so now that being said um, my model is my uh, uh, work part i'm just going to drop in a datum plane okay so this datum plane is going to go through three points up on this top face Try to find three points that are pretty good, relatively flat places to place this, okay? And just make it big and select OK. So now that I have my plane in place, I'm going to go ahead and offset another plane from here. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Let me reverse that. Oops, wrong reverse. And the whole purpose of this is just it doesn't have to go that that deep is that I want to create a circle through this to get a vector okay so um, I'm taking what I could find is the most planar face and again if this were me I'd ask whoever to scan this in to do a better job scanning it because it's, these are very very rough scans very difficult to work with um, there's no definitive shapes on what should be a definitive shape like a cone the system is smart. There are tools that would allow me to go find those primitives, but um, you know, because of the, the poor scan quality, I might end up with poor results. So in this case, I'm going to have to do things manually. So I'm going to go in a curve, and I want to take a section curve. I want to section this with that. And now that I have that, let me head, go ahead and open this in its own file. There we go. Now that I have my section curve, you can see here I've got some extra curves data. I don't need that. Just delete that. I'm going to go ahead and hide this for now. And there is my, as near as I can tell, circle. So with this here, I'm going to drop in a little bug floating around here. I'm going to drop in a circle and we'll go like this. Now, as you can see, I've got kind of close. I'm just going to drag it and get it really, really close to where I need it. And the reason behind that circle is so I can come in here, draw a line from the center of that. And I want to go normal to this plane and move those out of the way, make this big, make this big, and change the color of this. Actually, make you green. Uh, 
All right. Now that I have that, I've got my datum planes in place. I'm going to simply go back into my assembly, make displayed part, make it my work part. And as you can see, now I need to move this over to here. Now, because I am in the context of an assembly, I can just go move component, grab my component, specify my orientation, and start dragging this to where I want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, I'm setting up a couple of references. Let's do this, I'll rotate you down, and bring this up, bring this down. Okay, now that I have it relatively close, I'm just going to simply constrain, go to my assembly constraints, and as you can see, I've got my touch align, I've got my concentric, distance, so on. So I'm going to pick this line to this line and apply. Next thing I need to do is go from this plane to this plane and apply and here at this point all you need to do is uh, basically rotate this out again with your uh, move component and uh, let's do move handles only orient that to there bring this to my line. Let's go to point dialog and for a point to there. I've got my z-axis. Let me set my rotation reference back over to here and at this point here I just need to move this to get it oops helps turn that off to where I want and and quite frankly you know I can sit here and tweak and twist and and play around with it and get it a little bit closer but again the scan data isn't that great it's very rough it's very choppy it's very difficult to pull any real information off of it so this is the method that I would use personally with this kind of scan data to position one component to the next. I've seen people try to bring the, uh, this type of data into one file, but I see these as two separate components. And because I see them as two separate components, I'm gonna set them up as an assembly. The nice thing about my assembly with my constraints is that I, I can form those relationships with one file and the other file. Now, if I really, really want to, I can start messing around with trying to find the point here that uh, these would line up. As you can see, I mean, I'm pretty darn close. Right now, it's just a simple question of going in there and um, uh, just, just some slight, slight, slight adjustments. But again, the most important aspect of this is finding a locator. We have a nice locator, that center cone. Uh, we can create, we can get a plane off of it. We can get an axis based off of that plane with a circle and get really close to what we want. And, you know, if you, you know, this is what, eight minutes now that I've been playing around with it. If I actually put a little bit more time into it, clean up the curves a little bit more, put a little more effort into it, I can get this thing fairly precisely positioned. So I hope that helps. It's a quick, dirty, easy way to get things into position. And, um, you know, if this is one of those things where if you really wanted to, now you can move your uh, components back to your absolute origin, right? Because you have a line, you have a plane, you can get these things positioned back to the absolute of the part. So you have various options there because you created some reference elements. Anyway, I hope that helps. Please like if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new and share with your friends. And uh, see you soon. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment bar below. And uh, we'll talk soon. Take care.